What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and I'm a quick guide for you today in LEGO Fortnite on how to build your very own crop farm. Now, early on this isn't massively useful but later on as you progress through the game it's a life changer because you're going to need to make all sorts of recipes for food, for drinks to help you protect against the heat and the cold. So you're going to need to do a lot of this later on. So we're going to start with the very basics. To begin with, all you need is some fertilizer and some soil. Fertilizer you can find any group of animals, so if you see a group of chickens, um, a herd of cows, etc, etc, just run around them for a little bit and you will eventually see some fertilizer on the floor. It's a small poo-shaped icon. There's some, look, right there. As soon as you pick that up, you will unlock the item you need to craft, which is in the utility section, all the way down the garden plot. You need soil for that one, so if you haven't got a soil already, you can just make a spade or a shovel. Dig up anywhere on the ground and you will get soil. You then make one of these. Now, there's two different ways of doing this. I'll show you here. So once you put this down, you open the plot of soil and you put your seed on here. Right hand side there in the inventory. So you can see there I've got seven. I've got none in there. So if you want to do this the best way, the quickest way it is to plant a bunch of seeds in each one and then harvest it yourself. So if I harvest this right now, the next seed will grow. However, if you want to do it the passive way, which is a lot simpler, to be honest, all you have to do is put all of the stuff down and then assign one of your people, so ideally the farmer guy, because I'm pretty sure he gets bonuses, to the job itself. What he will do then, every now and then, he will give you items that you find in here. So I will either get spicy peppers or snowberries or wheat or corn. It doesn't seem to be different depending on how much you've got. So it's probably best just to grab a bunch of these up and leave some of them. But I'm just doing it passively because it's a bit easier and just doing it passively, I've had everything I've needed. So with a lot of these, the best things you can do with these is to bring them over to the juicer. This is quite a late or mid to late game item. Um, so you'll get the juicer over here. This is where you can make a lot of your juices. So I need snowberries and milk. Um, you've also got the grain mill, which you can get the seeds. So let's say we grow a bunch of snowberries. I can then convert the snowberries at a seed ratio of one to two. So if I get a bunch of wheat, one wheat gives me three grains. So eventually you'll just get infinite supply. Um, you don't need to worry about anything else. You don't have to fence it in or nothing like that. You don't have to make it look nice. All you've got to do is plant all the seeds down, assign a worker to it and check with them every now and then and you'll get seeds regularly. Um, I recommend the snowberries for sure and the spicy peppers. These are going to be the driving force between surviving and not surviving when you go into the cold and the heat areas. And then the rest of the stuff is just pretty much up to you. So you guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Good when you can get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like and subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.